In today's video, we're checking out what might be the most affordable electric guitar in Australia that still sounds great and plays really well. This is the Artist STH, and it's got an L on the end because I'm a lefty. Now this is loaded with three Wilkinson pickups. We get a humbucker in the bridge, and two single coil pickups, and I'll cover all the specs in just a moment. This is kind of reminiscent of that, of a Yamaha Pacifica mixed with a Harley Benton. So I hope you like this video. So the first thing we need to do is check out how it sounds. Here we go. Welcome back folks, this is Shane. You are listening to this Artist Strat style electric guitar called the STL. Now being that I'm a lefty, there's an L on the end of the model number. I'll leave links to Artist Guitars below if you want to check this out. Let's take a look. Here's the headstock up close. As you can see, it's got a unique style headstock as well. It doesn't really remind me of anything else out there, which is cool. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section. As you can see from the back as well, we get some die cast tuners and those blue things are just stickers that I need to take off. One of the ways they keep the cost down is they use a poplar body with a basswood veneer, but the good news is it doesn't impact the sound and it's not too heavy. And I think with this high gloss, it looks really, really premium. This maple neck feels great in the hand. It's not super fat or anything like that. So odds are it's gonna appeal to most players out there. 
The fretboard is an eco-friendly rosewood and it's a 25.5 inch scale length, very reminiscent of that of just about every strat out there. We get 22 frets and as you can see up close, there's quite a lot of chunk on these frets as well. So they're great. It means you're not going to wear through them really quickly. And I have to tell you, the fret edges on this guitar feels immaculate. It's better than much higher end guitars. Not one of them feels weird or sharp or anything. It actually almost feels like a rolled fretboard. I think the star of the show, other than just straight up playability, is the fact we get quality pickups. These are Wilkinson pickups. And if you know anything about these, these are really great value pickups that definitely deliver the tone. And I've had no problems with squeal or anything like that or them being microphonic in the room. When it comes to the volume and tone controls, we get one volume control and two tone controls. Now, interestingly enough, when you're on the bridge pickup over here, it doesn't actually work with this tone control. They've wired it up so the bridge pickup basically lets the tone pass through. And once you get on the other positions, that's when the tone controls become active. This first tone control works on the first couple of positions. And then when you get over to the middle and bridge and middle, you'll use this tone control over here. As you can see, we get a tremolo system built into the guitar, and it also comes with a cable and the tremolo arm, so you can actually use it straight out of the box. Firstly, a massive thank you to Artist Guitars here in Australia for sending this out. I really appreciate it. If you want to find out more about them, links will be in the description below. Now, if you don't know much about Artist Guitars, they're kind of like Australia's answer to Harley Benton, which make great guitars at an affordable price. So these are really cool, and I'll give you more of my thoughts about this at the end of the video. Let's get into it. Let's kick it off today. I'm plugged into the Artist Tweet Tone 20R amplifier on the Clean channel. We're also going to try it with some pedals for some dirty tones as this humbucker in the bridge totally rocks. So this is the Clean Tone on neck pickup with the volume and tone controls all the way up. Beautiful. Over to neck and middle pickups together. Here we go. All right. And now over to middle pickup on its own. This is a single coil. And now over to bridge and middle position. This might be one of my favorite positions on this guitar. The reason is it sounds nice and springy and responsive. Here we go. Beautiful, I love that. Over to bridge pickup on its own, so just the humbucker. Take a listen to this. So that's clearly got way more output. It's pushing the amplifier. Let's go over to neck, just for a point of comparison. Neck pickup sounds great. Bridge pickup just has obviously more attitude and it's hum free. Let's go over to some dirty tones. Here we go. Where's my pick? <laughs> and now let's give it a shot with some overdrive. Thanks to the VS Audio Royal Flush Dual Overdrive, I'm just using the left hand side and you heard this in the intro track. This is bridge pickup. Here we go. <laughs> Sounds killer. Now with the volume control down. Mm -hmm. 
So nice and responsive. I was probably making some funny faces there. And now with the back up. Let's go straight over to the neck pickup now. Let's take a listen. Now let's try the in-between positions. So we're gonna go over to neck and middle pickups together. Now interestingly enough, if you wanna use the tone control, this tone control works in that position. So let's turn it down to about half. Now over to the middle position. And over to middle and bridge, which is probably one of my favorite positions. Take a listen to this. It's weird, that wouldn't normally be a position that I solo a lot on, but on this particular guitar, that and just bridge pickup, I'd live on when I'm doing my big so big solos, put that in quotations. But uh, yeah, when I'm butchering a solo, I go over to that position. <laughs> And lastly, over to neck pickup, but with the volume control down. That is awesome. That means you don't have to keep stepping on your pedals. Turn down and you get a nice clean tone. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. So what do I think of this Artist STH with an L on the end because it's a lefty. If you're a righty, take the L off. You know what, this is up there with the Yamaha Pacifica, one of the entry levels, kind of like the 112V or somewhere around that sort of quality. It feels great, none of the frets are sharp on the edges and for a guitar at that price point, it's really, really cool. Now the neck's not perfect in terms of its visual. There's this sort of dark spot in the grain of the wood here, but you can't feel it. So the finish on the back of the neck looks beautiful and it feels great in the hand as well. This is one of the cool things about guitars that are less expensive these days. You don't have to spend a fortune to be able to get into playing and enjoying an instrument. Now, I haven't played the Harley Benton Stratocaster before, but those guitars, uh, from my experience with the Tallys, like the TE52, is a very similar experience to how I feel playing this. There's nothing to complain about, which is really great. Interestingly enough, it stayed in tune very well. There's nothing weird on the edges of the fretboard. There's, the tuners are really good. If you saw those blue dots on the back of the tuners, they're just stickers that I should take off. But overall, the pickups in this thing really sing. My favorite position without question, bridge pickup. Bridge pickup and middle pickup, those two are really cool. But I also love neck pickup for that bluesy type tone. So you can get lots of usable tones out of this thing. And overall, for a sub 200 Australian dollar guitar, which is probably around, I don't know, 150 or so dollars US, how can you go wrong with something like this? It looks good, it feels great, it's not too heavy or anything like that, and you get a free gig bag. So pretty cool. Massive thanks to Artist Guitars for sending this out for the review. Let me know what you think of the tones and of the style of this thing. It's a black S-type guitar like many others out there, but for its price, it was by far the least expensive one I could find that's still really good quality. So yeah, let us know what you think. Thanks again, catch you soon. See ya.